Aiken County is getting ready to welcome dozens of voters to Langley Pond for the Augusta Invitational Regatta this weekend. Officials already closed the pond to the public ahead of the competition. News Channel's Hallie Turner is live with a closer look at what we can expect Saturday. From buoys to racing shells, today's been all about preparations for what's to come after a nine year pause. While the Invitational was expecting to see a large number of teams, the one coach says the ones that are coming is a perfect start to future growth. Saturday is going to be a bit of a small day. We were hoping for 12 or 13 teams and we ended up with only four. After a nine year pause, the turnout did not come as a shock. That's due to the fact that we've been gone. We're just not on people's regular schedules yet. Saturday is set to change that. Saturday will help getting people back here on an annual basis. We're going to have probably 250 kids here. We have a small team at Augusta and then we have TriStar, Asheville Youth and Charlotte Youth all from different areas of North Carolina. Brad says it's the perfect kickstart for future growth. Potential for growth. We could have a rowing club in North Augusta. We could have a rowing club here on Langley Pond. In addition to the Augusta Rowing Club, we could start a rowing club up in Columbia County. The area is ripe for growth. Thursday, an entire new racing course was installed. For starters, we had to install a brand new race course, and, and that takes a lot of time and energy from people who know what they're doing. The race course, each line of the race course has 2,000 buoys that are supporting a stainless steel cable that it's all connected together so that when you're out on the course, it looks like swimming pool lanes. And with construction turning the pond into a top course, he says future growth with more teams will come. This could become the epicenter of the sport for the whole southeast region. This course is one of the top three rowing courses in the southeast region now, and it's the best one for nearly 400 miles. The teams get here tomorrow around noon and everything kicks off here Saturday morning at 8 o'clock. 68 boat total, boats total will take the pond, I mean, throughout the day and it is expected to be wrapped up around 2 o'clock in the afternoon.